need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here at the Kensington Boxing Club. It's the start of a massive fight week. Delighted to be joined by Joe Pattaya. Uh, bit of an intense face-off with Jordan Thompson there? Intense, but um, I think respect was earned then, you know what I mean? He, we, we both have uh, been doing a few interviews, so we match the energy, so that's what it's about, you know? Are you expecting a hard night on Saturday night? Definitely, you know, I've trained for a hard night. I'm expecting 12 rounds of prep, like, Proper boxing war, you know what I mean? I, I'm excited, bro. It's fucking... I'm ready. I'm ready. Do you feel like the layoff has kind of added fuel to your fire and you just can't wait to get in the ring on Saturday night? Definitely, man. It's been a long layoff, you know. We've had a few camps and stuff like that and, you know, we've been growing in the process, though, and that's what, what people don't understand. You know, I, I was 27 when I won the title. I'm 28 now. And I'm just progressing into a man and, you know, it's, it's just... We've had a lot of growth in and outside the ring. Um, in the ring there, there was uh, some Jordan Thompson fans. They were very, very vocal. On Saturday night, there's probably going to be a lot more. Um, does, that, does that make you hungry? You're going into the lines then? Right. Enemy territory, you know what I mean? But we're here on a mission. We're here to get a job done. It's not going to stop us. I know you're definitely not going to be overlooking Jordan Thompson, but I think Maris Bradis is going to be there on Saturday night. Is that a fight that you'd look to rematch? I know you've beaten once. Man, who knows? We'll, we'll just focus on September 30. It has our full focus. You know, we take one fight at a time. So once that's done, then we focus on the next. He's very big at the weight. Do you make much of that? Sorry? He's very, very big at the weight. Do, does that kind of... Do you make much of that? He's tall? Yeah. Yeah, he's tall, man. He's, you know, you've got to fight a bit different when you get these tall opponents. If they use their range smart, uh, you know, we adapt in the ring. We've been boxing my whole life, so I, I, that's what I do. I get in the ring, I adapt, I find the weaknesses, and I capitalise on them. It's the start of a big run for you now. Start of a big, big run, bro. You know, I just got the world title, and I'm not giving it up now. Undisputed? Undisputed. All day. He's been saying artistic violence. He's going to take you out. Um... Just a reaction to how confident Jordan has been in the build-up. Um, man, you know, he can say what he wants. We're focused on our own camp. You know, we're very confident. I feel strong. I feel sharp. I'm fit. I'm ready to go. You're looking forward to fighting in London? Cannot wait, man. Yeah. Cannot wait. I just want to get the job done, and I'll be able to relax. Do you like Jordan Thompson as a person? Don't know him personally, man. You know, this business isn't personal. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a hater, bro, you know. I'm... He's trained his ass off to get here, so respect to him. But, you know, I'm on a mission. You know, I've got a job to do, and he's in my way. You've now signed with Matchroom. Is your plan to box all over the world, or do you want to take all them belts home with you and defend them there? Uh, man, you know, the dream's to have the big fight nights back at home. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, uh, that's the goal, to build up my own country and give a platform for other Australian fighters. But, um, you know, we've got to get a few things done before we can do that, so... A prediction? How does it go with you and Jordan Thompson? I'm curious, you know, I'm curious to see how aggressive he comes out and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I feel like the more aggressive he is, the more mistakes he's going to make. So, you know, I'll catch him once and he's going to feel the power. Uh, people are underestimating my power, you know what I mean? He, he's, um, he's really sort of saying he's going to line me up and stuff. It's, it just shows how little they do know, you know what I mean, about me. So. Do you think it's the toughest fight of your career? We'll find out. Last one, a bit off topic, but I've seen part of your team walking around with a West Ham United uh, coat on. Um, are you a West Ham fan? Do you know what that is? Man, no, nah, I, I haven't even noticed the, the jacket. I'm, I'm, I don't watch much. Man, to be honest, I don't watch much other sports. All I do is train, eat, sleep. Are you a fan of boxing? Do you study boxing? I do, I do bits and pieces, you know what I mean? I, I watch people that I'm fans of or, you know, certain sort of techniques or punches and stuff like that and, you know, try and add them to my game. You're going to knock him out on Saturday? We're going to go for the knockout, but if it doesn't come, you know we're ready for 12 rounds. Jay, thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV and best of luck September 30th over the Arena. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. You very much. You need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. 
Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt ring. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 